Can you guys recall an experience with a strong typhoon? How about Typhoon Yolanda? Why do you think it had a great impact in your life? If that hits your curiosity, better keep watching this video for more information. Today's objective is to equip you with knowledge concerning signs of impending meteorological hazards such as typhoon, thunderstorm, flash flood, flood, storm surge, El Nino, and La Nina. Hydrometeorological hazard is highly related to the words hydrological and atmospheric. Now, let us define what a hydrometeorological hazard is. Hydrometeorological hazards are natural processes or phenomena that are of atmospheric, hydrologic, or oceanographic in nature. Examples of this are typhoon, flood, flash flood, thunderstorm, storm surge, El Nino, and La Nina. Tropical cyclone, also called typhoon or hurricane, an intense circular storm that originates over warm tropical oceans and is characterized by low atmospheric pressure, high winds, and heavy rain. Weather forecast is a scientific estimate of a future weather condition wherein a weather condition is a state of the atmosphere at a given time expressed in terms of the most significant variables. How is a weather forecast made? First step, observation. A meteorologist forecasts weather decision through surface observations at least every 3 hours over land and sea, and upper air stations at least every 12 hours. Second step, collection and transmission of weather data. Collection and transmission of weather data are condensed into coded figures. Symbols and numerals are transmitted via radio phone, teletype, facsimile machine, or telephone to designated collection centers for further transmission mission to the central forecasting station. Third step, plotting of weather data. Observations on land and sea are plotted on charts of surface or mean sea level, which are prepared four times a day. Fourth step, analysis of weather maps, satellite and radar images, and other data. Current weather maps are analyzed through different weather charts, namely surface, MSL chart, where data plotted on this weather map are analyzed isobarically. Fifth step, formulation of the forecast. Upon completion of review of all available meteorological information or data, the preparation of forecast follows. or the Luyong ng Bagyo in the Philippine system where the irregular sea level rise during tropical cyclone or Bagyo occurs. As you can observe on the table, red means to take action. Expected height is 3 meters above. Storm surge is catastrophic. Orange means alarm. Expected height is 1.1 to 3 meters above. Storm surge is expected. Yellow means to be alert. Expected height is 0.5 to 1 meters above. Storm surge is possible. And green means no alert. Flood and flash flood. Flood is a high water stage in which water overflows its natural or artificial banks onto normally dry land such as river inundating its flood plain. The effects of floods on human well-being range from unqualified blessings to catastrophes. Inland flooding is the technical name for ordinary flooding that occurs in inland areas hundreds of miles from the coast. 
Flash floods are caused by heavy rain or the sudden release of water over a short period of time. The name flash refers to their fast occurrence and also to the raging torrents of water that move with great speed. Flash floods are also caused by heavy precipitation in a short period of time, usually less than 6 hours. River flooding occurs when water levels in rivers, lakes, and streams rise and overflow onto the surrounding banks, shores, and neighboring land. Coastal flooding is the inundation of land areas along the coast by sea water. Urban flooding occurs when there is a lack of drainage in the urban area. Next, what is El Nino? El Nino is a climate phenomenon characterized by the warming of sea surface temperatures in the Central and Eastern Pacific Ocean, leading to global weather pattern disruptions that can impact rainfall, wind patterns, and temperature distribution worldwide. La Nina is a weather phenomenon characterized by unusually cold ocean temperature in the equatorial Pacific which causes increased numbers of tropical storms in the Pacific Ocean. Now let us test your game knowledge with these five questions. As we end this video, I hope that it is clear that hydrometeorological hazards pose significant threats to lives, infrastructure, and the environment, emphasizing the importance of proactive planning and response strategies. Thank you and see you on our next video.